Superstar J taking over the airwaves on Shade 45 Sirius Satellite Radio. You know what it is, Superstar J, VIP Saturdays, got something special. He's been in the show a couple of times, man. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Times, yeah, you know, you know uh, I, I seen I seen the the blossom, you know what I mean? Uh, I think it was from the root, you know what I mean? They yeah. say from the ground up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I seen the ground up. You always been a person that's been very down to earth. Yeah, appreciate that. And I that. think, you know, your skill wise is like I, you would think you got a big ass ego, but you yeah. don't. You oh know what man, mean? appreciate that. <laughs> nah, man, it can't be walking around with legend nuts hang all the time. You yeah, know but them, them, them lyrics right there, man, is yeah. different, and we are gonna I, get into that, man. Yeah, for sure. I get cocky with the with the pen and pad. You know, that's why I talk yeah, I think, all my I, shit. You I think know, I think life. that's where, where, yeah, yeah. where you let it speak. Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the album is out right now. Yes, sir. The Lost Boy. Yes, sir. Man, I, I, that the album ain't lost, bro. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Well, Thank I, you. I want you to introduce the people. I, you know, I probably got, I, I, you know, I get a, co- I get a little bit cocky, but I, I turn yeah, yeah, it on yeah. the turntables and stuff. Yeah, 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 I got like sure. 25 million people that listen to me. Yeah, we need we need 20 percent of that. Uh, yeah. you know what I mean. Downloads, streaming, need, everything. I'm, I'm here for 50, my brother. Well, you know 50 percent. Yeah, yeah. What well, extra five million people that might not know who you are? Introduce uh-huh. yourself. So uh, it's your boy YBN Corday. You know what I'm saying? Corday. Yes, yeah, sir. Just dropped the Lost Boy. You know what I'm saying? Out now on all platforms that yes. you can get it on. You feel me? You and, they, and they're saying it's a classic. Oh, oh. You know we'll what I mean? See, time will tell. Time, will, time tell. will tell. Man, I don't want to use that c word, but time will tell. I, I think I think it's like wine. It's a fine wine because I, yeah. I, I I I love how you just coming back. You know what I mean? Because I was gonna call B and be like, damn, he. Ain't, I, I did call B actually, yeah, and I was yeah. like, he ain't visit my show, B. You know what I mean? Oh but, yeah, no, but come you on, came man. back like a fucking president and everything. Yeah, yeah, appreciate that, brother. Now, um, this work, this body of work is uh-huh. is dope. Oh, thank you, bro. I'm honored, yes, bro. Man. Appreciate that, man. Um, my my favorite word, my favorite record is um thousand. Thousand words. Oh like. yeah, that's one of my favorites. Yes, as well. man, I was Appreciate zoning that. out on that. That's like my gym um workout joint. Oh, that's love. That's <laughs> how you work out at that joint. That joint, kind. Of, yeah, actually, you know, it makes sense now. You know, it you makes know, sense. you know why? You know why? Because with me, it's not about like you know. Some people do like, uh, like it's just like hit records. Like yeah. you can have a slow record that might not be a. Like dreams and nightmares, I, yeah, I really okay, felt wasn't okay, like a, okay, a party true. record. But yeah, but yeah, it's because it's so profound. It's okay. Yes. I get it. Yeah. Absolutely. So you know, I me mean, thousand words is like, damn kid, yeah. it just makes me sit there and think, man. You know what yeah. I mean? And I'd be going hard, like fuck that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Nah, that's love, bro. I appreciate that, man. Now, it means the world. The comparison uh-huh. of classics, and I always say, I told B, like, I feel like you have an old soul. Mm-hmm. Now, um, it's a lot of I, I, I can't say far as cliche wise that I've heard a classic in a while. Especially mm. at your age. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. I haven't heard a classic like mm. um playing from the beginning mm. to the end, you know, because yeah. so, sometimes we can get lost in and you Track can play it. Eight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you <laughs> if you're lucky, you feel me? Yeah, you know what I mean? You know, especially um people listening that, you know, we are spent we, we don't even go past six and stuff. Yeah. But you went past eight and ten. Oh yeah, nah. I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm <laughs> Why? The, uh, did, did did the crew? Did you say nah? I gotta do. I gotta do a lot of. I gotta do some records. I gotta uh, do some joints. It, it technically got like 13 songs and two skits. You know what I'm saying? Two. They're more so interludes than skits. But, Who uh, does interludes anymore? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so man. Yeah, Who yeah, does skits sure. anymore? I feel like it puts the uh the project together. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Makes it like one like cohesive body of work. That's my main thing when I approach this. All right. I was like, y'all wanna make one cohesive body of work, like one long story that all fits together. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And uh that still showcases versatility, obviously. But um but yeah, and I just wanted to tell my story, you know, as a cause, and I just wanted to be as vulnerable as possible, as transparent, and just you know, be speak about my experiences, things that I've been through, things that I've witnessed, you know, and just things that inspired me to write these uh, certain songs. You yes, know? man. And for just, not, not even being out this long for yeah, you to yeah. have all these experiences, man. Yeah, for sure. And I feel like you know, even with music now, yeah. Um, before I always just say that. I I actually listened to one of one of my uh, artists that I consider great. Yeah, and I was kind of like, man, that shit is kind of corny. And I and I and my man just got on me like, come on, how long you listen to it? I was like, yeah. nah, I listened to it like you know what I mean. I skimmed through it like in 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 an hour. Yeah. It's like you didn't fucking listen to it then. Yeah. So I feel like you know sometimes we get caught up with today's music yeah. of listening quick. You know this isn't a uh this isn't like. A skim through project, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You gotta listen to every song, you know, mm-hmm. or you're not doing it justice, you know, or you're not doing yourself justice, you know, and uh, and it's 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 not even a one listen, you know. I 
No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> yeah, I feel <laughs> like not. after I, cause you know, when I was going through the mixing process, I had to like take a break from listening to the music, so I haven't heard these songs in like three months, and I just pressed play on it like a couple of days ago, and I was like, oh. Or like this, I like you know what I'm saying. Like, do you have a wanna, ritual where you don't listen to your songs that much? Uh, I do a couple times until because I I always look for like flaws and certain things I can do to like you mm -hmm. know beef the song up, especially on the production side to make it better, you know. And uh, but after a while I get tired, you know, because I hear the same song too many times and I want to overanalyze and OD it. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So uh. Yeah, I, I definitely take a break from listening to my music for sure. Well, let's get into a record. You you pick yeah, yeah. a record. You okay. you pick one of your favorite records. I know all your records is favorite. But oh yeah, love. I, love. I, I I like to get into like uh, uh I don't know if you know back in the days they used to have an A side and a B side, yep. but they both were the same. But yeah, the B yeah. side was kind of you know like a little bit more. You get into it, so you pick like a B side record that you would say that you love. Okay. Uh, I like broke as fuck. Broke as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the beginning, I was like, all right, and then you just went. Crazy on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain that record. So Broke as Fuck is just basically like, don't forget that mind state, that hunger. That song is just represents a starving artist, the hunger. Mm -hmm. You know, you hungry, I want it. Like, I was broke as fuck, down up on my ass, had the lowest luck. I used to take the bike up to the store. I need a Rover truck. Wow. You know, this, just, it just exemplifies like a young hungry nigga who want it, you know what I'm saying, by any means necessary. Willing to get it. And it's a, it's a banger, more up-tempo jump, so I'm rocking with it. Let's get it, man. You yeah, know yeah. what it is. VIP. You know what it is, VIP Saturdays. Uh -huh. It's YBNJ. You uh -huh. know what I mean? YBNJ. Yeah, it... <laughs> YBN Superstar J. Yeah. Oh, see? He knows my name. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, man. Stop Let, playing, Let's man. talk about the production. Absolutely. Let's talk, man. Uh, Anderson Pack. Yeah, yeah. Y'all went back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my brother right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, hell yeah. Down to the damn skit. You know oh, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Uh, yeah, I feel like cats don't be making music together in the same room anymore. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just be sending each other open verses. And as a Do you hate that? Nah, I don't, I don't hate it, you know, to each is his own, you know, but um I feel like listeners are starting to feel that when niggas just sent each other like open oh, verses. Oh, they be vote. I I feel like the consumer is getting smarter and starting to peep game when niggas don't put Do time you peep it sometimes when you listen to records? Oh, I can cuz you know, I'm an artist, so I know I'm like, "Oh yeah, these niggas took 10 <laughs> minutes on this shit. These <laughs> niggas ain't put no effort on this motherfucker." He's so, talking uh, like a whole different subject. He's in yeah. Miami and I'm in Delaware right exactly, now. Exactly, exactly. So how can you <laughs> Y'all really connect, you know? Uh -huh. Unless, you know, a lot of times if I will send anybody open verse, I'll have like an hour convo with them, like explaining like, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm searching for, like what I had in mind when I created the song, just to take them into that same headspace. Yeah. You know, but when you in the same room as somebody, you know, the energy is different. Like, say if we was doing this interview and you was at home, you know what I'm saying, on the couch, you know, yeah. FaceTime, it wouldn't be the same energy. Yeah, phone you know? interviews so, are fucking bomb. Oh, the like... worst, the worst. So it, it's the same with music, but exemplified you mm -hmm. know because it's, it's fucking music so yeah and, and that's so and a, and a lot of these records i feel are soulful approaches well did you have any problems with samples because uh i think on the industry pack it was a sample on there Shit, i think damn near everything got uh yeah because that was a, it was a it was a sin i was like damn where the fuck did that wreck that i don't know if that was a i don't know if that was a sample at the very beginning of the song yeah it was a sample yeah but, uh, nah everything was easy breezy okay easy breezy on the sample so side. it wasn't it wasn't no breezy. no problems it was one record that you call yeah. You had to go, you know, meet the artist or do a birthday party for their son or son or their kid. Oh uh, no, nah, I didn't actually. Nah, I had to do that. <laughs> nah, 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 for sure. Had to make you know everything was super easy, super smooth on this project. The clearances, all that shit. Easy. How long did it take for you to make this project? About eight months, eight to ten months. Mm -hmm. You know, but some you didn't want to rush it. It was just mainly creating a cohesive project because I had like. I got 50 bangers in the stash. Wow, you know, but, I, I was about to ask that. How many? But they didn't necessarily fit this. You are we going to get saying? a we going to get a court at uh, Lost Tapes? May, yeah, for sure. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe a lost, uh, the Lost Files. The Lost know? Files? You know, don't, nobody take that shit either, man. I hear one of y'all motherfuckers call a project The Lost Files. I'm going to smack the shit out you, man. Oh, so uh, yeah, playing, you heard it. You heard it here first. JK, the Lost JK, Files. JK, JK, man. The, but, the uh, Lost Streams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lost Streams. <laughs> <laughs> the Lost, the Lost Streams. But, uh, but yeah, man, you know, just I'm I'm already I'm inspired, you know, by all the things that's been occurring lately. So I'm ready to get back in the lab, you know, again and, and get it and just knock these niggas' heads off, you know. So so you ready? You ready to go back in? Oh, for sure, for sure. So you're not taking your time, like you, you might do a DMX and put out like two albums in in one year. Oh no, nah, I ain't gonna do that. But I'm just saying, I'm just ready to start the next one. It's Monumental. I oh, think yeah, you could do sure. it probably. Oh come on, let's <laughs> get it. Let's and get B, it. B, we we might do holiday or something. Yeah yeah yeah, come on. <laughs> 
But I, I feel like right now uh-huh. a lot of people are getting into this album. Um, yeah. I was at the barber shop and I was talking. I was like, "Yo, man, this young boy is is a problem." Oh, that's L. That's and, love. And, and I, I had some arguments. Yeah, yeah. Because you know you got you know you came oh, from the niggas. old nigga. You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, we had sure. we had sure. a couple of old niggas in there that yeah, was yeah. on this shit. Like, man, I ain't listening to that. I say, "Yo, listen," and I. Sometimes I'm so passionate. Yeah, that's I, I appreciate I really, that. The, if somebody argue for you in a barber shop, that's real. Yo, love. I'm telling that's you, because it gets crazy in there. Because oh, I, it gets it wicked. I seen niggas fight over sports arguments yes, in the yes, barbershop. Yes, yes, man. I'm telling you, grown men with four with four kids and all them niggas sitting there with them. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and I was like, give give them a chance. Like I, you yeah. didn't even hear. You know, you you haven't heard heard them, and you you're not even giving them a chance. Nah, I, I don't see classic. And one dude said to me, I don't see classic albums being made by younger artists anymore. Whoever says that, you know, like, don't even, I just stay in that box, you know, that you want to, it don't, I'm cool, you know, mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not going to try to sit here and like oversell anybody, myself as an artist or this album. You yeah. know, I know the time and work I put into this. All the, the it's gonna resonate with the real, you mm-hmm. know. All the people who's supposed to connect with this, to listen to this, to process this, is going to, you know. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't let too much bother me. I'm gonna tell you how I got his attention. Uh-huh. I said since you saying that, and you know, I had an argument one time about music, and I was like, well, he has Pusha T on his album. Yeah. How do you get him then? Yeah, exactly. You That's know what I mean? Love. Yeah. And he kind of was like. Quiet about it, yeah. Because he's gonna say some hating shit. Like he probably paid him a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you know what? Never then that. let me listen to it. Oh, that's ill. So let let's let the let you introduce the record so these people can listen to it. Yeah, the gentleman pusher. Yes. Oh yeah, nightmares are real. Speech and King Push. Let's <sighs> get it. You see how I put that in there? Let's yeah, get it. Yeah, it's real. You know what it is, man. Superstar J got my motherfucking cousin in here, man. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, you have Meek Mill on here. Uh huh. You have a like like a lot of flavors, man. And then, yeah, yeah, um, different flavors for sure. And, and and it's not like you put them in the front. Yeah, it's uh, it just more so like I said, like that song didn't fit the beginning. It fit it, that song's marks like more towards the end. So you 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 felt that it wasn't in the beginning. Yeah, cause it just didn't match the storyline that I was going for. But it was like the missing piece to the puzzle because I needed that, you know. And Meek Mill, he uh, shout out, he's a, you know obviously a dope MC, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, dope artist. But uh, how did that come about? I was I was in a lab with him. Uh, you know, I was you know I, I linked with Meek a couple times. I first met him at uh at Puff House. Okay. And um, you know, we just uh just chopped it up. You know what I'm saying? He always like that's big bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. And uh, one day he was in the lab and uh, shout out Dallas. He Facetime me, mm-hmm. and uh, they was like, "Pull up!" So we just pulled up and I already had I had a beat that I knew that uh that that I was already going to like that I planned on writing to. Okay. And but I heard it and I was like, as soon as I heard that beat, I was like, "Yo, Meek Mill will be nasty on it," you know. So when they told me to pull up the stool, I just had this beat that I knew he would kill. So uh, I played the beat, and uh, he like, "Oh, I'm about to get in the lab now." Boom. So we in the uh, studio. He said, "I'm about to get in the booth now." So he went in. And uh, he recorded his hook. He recorded the hook in like 20 minutes, and the hook was so profound. It's just pure emotion, you know. Mm-hmm. It was so dope. I wrote my hook. I wrote my verses, both of my verses, while he in there recording the hook because wow. I was so inspired. So, by what so he was the saying, energy was you know? in there. Yeah, the energy was definitely in there. And uh, we we finished cutting it that same night, and uh, we did that record in like three hours. And then I went back on my own time, added you know some additional production to it, mm-hmm. you know, and. Uh, yeah, man, that that's one of the that's one of my favorite personal jokes on the project, you know. So yeah, shout out Meek. Shout out to Meek. Yeah, yeah. Man, well, the Lost Boy, like I was saying, I wanted to know why did you uh pick that title? Cuz that's just how I felt at that point in time in my life, you know, cuz I didn't find like my I didn't know where my path was. Is this when you when you signed? No, no, this is when I was in college more so. Okay. This represents a time in my life where I felt like I was lost. I didn't know like where my path was in life. I didn't know what my purpose was, where my journey even began, you mm-hmm. know? So I felt like, in a sense, I was lost. So this kind of just represents that, and the Lost Boy just signifies this one long-ass journey. Long you know, ass. I see you was with, on the road, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. With winter you time. was walking, too. Yeah, 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 for <laughs> sure. We in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? We just in the beginning our journey in real life. But, uh, you know, winter time was uh, the introduction track that's given, you know, spilling a bit of my soul, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, into the music. And uh, you know, have mercy to set every song is like just another additional step. On and Seek was you know? it's, it's, Seek was very well. Yeah, appreciate that, man. Appreciate D- that. Did you um do? Did you do uh physical CDs? Nah, but we got the vinyls about to hit the streets soon. Okay, you know, CDs, vinyls on the way. You know, you know, you know, people. Yeah, I, I, and you can ask B. I, I used to love when we could open up the whole 
thing and you could read the lyrics. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. Have you have you get have you got that yet or are nah, we gonna I'm, yeah, I'm working on I got something really dope to cater specifically to that. So it's gonna be really dope. What we, are we on tour? We, we, we going on tour for this, man? We gonna oh, we gonna yeah, start yeah, doing yeah. this merch. Oh, oh yeah, oh we got the merch about to hit the streets. You know what I'm saying? Got my merch on right now. Huh? Okay. Ready for that. All uh, right, what, what what do you got on? The book uh, what is that? A book bag or? Oh, no 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 the oh. old bag's on the way but you okay. know the Lost Boy T shirts. I need one. B, oh, I need one. I, I love on, free B. stuff. You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Come on, gotta hook them up. Hoodie, all that, huh? Oh the hoodie, yeah, because it's getting cold right now. You know how New York is. All that, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh how's the home Hometown loving you, man. Right now, oh, it's, it's love, bro. It's, it's a lot of love back home. A lot Are you of gonna love. do a little concert, man, for the hometown, oh, real absolutely, quick? Absolutely, got to, man. Got to do all that, man. Yeah. Got to give back. Got to show love where love is shown. I always know? respect it because Nas did um a listening party in, in the projects. Oh yeah, for <laughs> I real. I was like, wow. Whoa, when when? Um, last year he did it. He brought Kanye. Well, he, did Kim Nazir, Ka he did the Nasir album. Yep. Yeah, he he did the um. I, was it the not? What, what was the name of that album that him and Kanye Nazir. did? Nasir. It was Nasir. Oh, I know my Nas albums, man. It was called Nas. <laughs> he said, "I know what I'm talking about." Yeah, I just had to make sure I was. I had to double check to make sure I wasn't tripping, man. Yeah, yeah. he did. He actually did that. He actually did that. Um, it was so dope because he brought all the industry people, DJs, the hood and queens. He put. He did it right in the projects. Oh, that's hard. You know what I mean? And I was like, yo, that's dope. it brought the speakers out. Had to, had a every. You know what I mean? Had the shirts. I think you know what I mean. Maybe one time you go to hometown and. Do a surprise concert there. Oh, absolutely. I have to see like a, a live, like full concert of you doing every song. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, we got that's a great idea. You just sparked an idea. I'm telling you, I mean, the way the the beat process is, it yeah. brings me back. Yeah. And I love when I can ride and zone out and start mm, thinking. That's ill. You know that's what I mean? Ill. Hell yeah. Well, we're gonna we gonna we're gonna we're gonna vote for that album of the year. I wanna I wanna see you you, you in the suits and everything. Yeah, so, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, give them, you know what I mean? Give them your Instagram and how they can reach you and everything. Yeah, yeah. Everything, uh, YBN Corday. You know, YBN C O R D A E. That's Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere. And, everything. And easy. one last song, man, uh -huh. before we get out of here. RMP, Rich Nigga Problems. Because cause Superstar J is a rich nigga. And Little he got bit. rich nigga problems. Well, that's all we got. He said, man, I need my fucking Bentley need an oil change, man. I'm tired of hearing this engine. <laughs> I'm like, Superstar J, that is rich nigga problems. Well, well kick some bars, man. Of, of, of beginning bars on there. Off on the uh, rich nigga problems. Yeah. So I said, put your fucking hands up. This the fucking anthem. Smiling because I'm young, rich, black, and I'm handsome. Not to mention wealthy. Ass on a healthy. Young millionaire. What the fuck can you tell me? Smell me, nigga, that's Chanel Cologne. I'm in Europe with the tourists when they'll sell your phone. Damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. You know what it is. Absolutely.